everybody, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be going over all of the things that I learned in my second year of college. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not already and let's get into it. Also, if you can hear the birds, I am very sorry. They have been very loud lately. Alrighty, so for those of you who do not know, I just finished my second year of college in my fourth semester and I will be going into my last, my final semester of college this fall and I am so excited. I am in a Bachelor of Technology program and I'm studying agricultural business with a minor in agricultural education. Um, so if you are interested in any of those things, comment them down below and we can have a little chat. But let's get into it. So the first thing that I learned was to find balance. I know that this is super generic, but honestly, like I have such a terrible habit of overworking myself. Like there were some days where I would leave my room at like 6.30 in the morning and I wouldn't be back in my room until 12 a.m. the next day, which is a long time. That's an 18 hour day. Um, so for me moving forward, like I need to take time and find balance and I hope that you do the same. Don't overwork yourself right off the bat. Take your time to find your groove and just like go with the flow a little bit. Tip number two is build strong relationships. Now this can be friends from high school that maybe you fell out of touch with and you want to rebuild that relationship. Maybe it's new people that you meet at college, people in your classes, your study groups maybe even a professor. Find people that you trust, find people that you can confide in and build relationships with them because like honestly a support system is so important. This past year I let one person kind of be my everything. They were my best friend, they were my support system, they were my partner and that was so unhealthy especially when that entire relationship like fell apart and it was all at once and I just like I didn't feel like I had that support. So build yourself a network of people. Number three is to expect change. Nothing is set in stone. Things can change on a moment's notice. Like we've all been through the COVID-19 pandemic. We're still in it a little bit. And we know that things can just stop, shift, flip around, all of the above. So like, don't get so set in a routine and a way of living that when change happens, it's really hard to handle. Number four is to try new things. This is probably my favorite one on the list. I am one of those people that is always like so involved in everything. So like going to college was a brand new environment for me. My second year, things started to open up. We didn't have to wear masks. We could go to in-person events. So this was like my first like real college year, which was super exciting. And I was going to like bingo nights, trivia nights, all of the above. And not gonna lie, there are some that I just didn't like, but I wouldn't have known that unless I tried them for myself. Next up is a clean space is a productive space. Having a clean space is a less stressful environment for you to work in, which means that you can focus better, you're gonna be able to sleep better, work better, just function better all around as a human being. And in college, you have to do a lot of work by yourself. Like no one is there to really take care of you. You're taking care of yourself. So, you know, why not give yourself a competitive edge by keeping your space clean? Next is self-worth. This is so, so important. I wouldn't go as far to say that I pin my self-worth on other people, but there were some really bad people in my life that made me realize that I wasn't recognizing my own self-worth. And I, I was settling for less than I should have been. And I don't want to be emotional with you guys because you don't need to see that. But you are loved and you are beautiful. And if nobody else is going to tell you that today, I'm going to tell you that because I love you. And you are so loved. <laughs> don't settle. <laughs> Don't settle for anything less than you are worth. So next we have do daily things that bring you joy. Like life, life is so stressful. I'm not saying that you need to have an entire that girl morning routine or evening routine, but do just one thing, one thing at the very least, every single day that brings you joy. Every single morning I would turn on my kettle and I would make myself a cup of tea and then I would make myself some tea and take it to go so I could just like 
have tea all day long and that brought me a lot of peace and then then this is kind of silly but every single time that I had class in a certain building I would get myself a cup of grapes and I would look forward to those grapes all day long it would keep me going motivated inspired and then I would just sit down and eat my grapes and I had the biggest smile on my face like and I know that it sounds so silly but like that was, that was something that I looked forward to consistently throughout my semester. Number eight is to try an internship. Now this is a big one and I'm not saying that this is something that you have to do your freshman year or even your sophomore year. A lot of stu students don't do it until later. Um, it's just that I was a little bit ahead of the game so I figured why not and honestly like I wanted to be a teacher and then I spent 480 hours in a high school and now I'm reevaluating that. So like do something that has to do with your major, do something in a career field that you want to work in because you might get there and you might realize that it's not for you. And it's better to find that out when you're in college than when you actually get to the workforce and you're stuck in a job that you're miserable in. I'm not saying that it has to be your favorite thing in the world, but you have to be able to tolerate it if that's what you're gonna do for the foreseeable future. Number eight goes hand in hand with number nine, which is the future is fluid. Like I just said, like I had every intention of being a teacher up until about three weeks ago. And now I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna do with my future. And that is okay. Like it took me, a while to come to terms with the fact that like I had this huge plan and it kind of just fell apart all at once but you know now I'm kind of coming to accept that that's how life works and things can change on a moment's notice and just go with it and be open to it and accept it because if you stay stagnant if you stay set in stone life is just gonna keep passing by all around you so you know, be fluid, move with life, and make the most of it. And then at number 10 is to ask for help. None of us are perfect. Not one single person on this planet is perfect. And it's okay to struggle. It's okay to be overwhelmed. But there are so many people around us who want to support us. There are so many people around us at college that are paid to support us. So you might as well take advantage of those resources, whether you're struggling mentally,